Hi, welcome to part five of how to make an epic movie trailer using 2D stock images. On this scene here, I wanted to put up the background and make it 3D because it sort of has a vanishing point here, but it didn't really work that well because you need clean lines. So what I did to help it instead was I added this lens flare. This is from a company called Cinema Spice. And that sort of helps distract the eye a little bit. Let's give it a look. Okay, here's a shot that was helped a lot by adding some weather effects, uh, some light snow, again from Cinema Spice. So what I did was I just masked out these windows and I added a background in behind with a camera, 3D camera in front. And it wasn't really working too well until I added these dust elements, which look a little bit more like snow. Let's take a look. So having some kind of weather, uh, dust clouds, snow, rain, can make a huge difference in your compositing. So for this shot, I used the 3D room technique that we've discussed throughout the series. And it was a really nice room to work with because the lines were very, very uh, symmetrical. And then I added my little boy into the mix and gave him some torches to play with and a little bit of a shadow down below and an adjustment layer to tie it in with the rest of the trailer and some smoke as well. Now I had a little bit of trouble with the flame over there so because it's sort of disappearing from the window light so what I did was I just masked that out a little bit to help with that. Now the other thing I did was I used this. It's uh, something from Red Giant. It's called Hollow Matrix. A little downloadable plugin. And that allowed me to... Actually, let's make sure I'm applying it to the right guy here. That allowed me to make uh, the boy uh, look a little bit more like a hologram. Kind of like that. And you also have all kinds of different uh, different settings you can use. Whoop. Like that. But uh, on second thought, I would probably have preferred the original. Because I think the original is pretty cool. So there you go. That's the end of the five-part series on how to make a, an epic trailer. I hope you enjoyed it all. And please stick around for more stuff coming up. And uh, have yourself a great week. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.